So what had happened was I cracked open the back of my skull. So on this fateful day, my mom was out of the crib and my dad was just keeping watch over me and my brother. So already off to a bad start, bruh. I mean, what do you expect when you leave three fools alone in a crib? My brother was out doing his own thing, probably engaging in nefarious activities if I'ma keep it 100. I was bored as hell and I had nothing to do in the crib and people were out in the buildings. So it was active. So I was like, I, right, I'ma just go down. I took my scooter because back then we used to do races and see who was the fastest in the building, right? There was like this garden type of thing in the middle of the apartment complex. I'll throw up a photo if I can. And it had this square shape and we were just doing laps around it. And of course I was the fastest because I'm the best, I'm the greatest. So blah, blah, blah. We were just having fun and riding and chilling with the homies. At this point, it was probably like 7 p.m. So it was pretty dark outside. I mean, that's my prediction because this happened when I was literally in third grade. But this fool, we'll call him Hubert. Hubert gave this people called a boost, which basically meant he grabbed a part of your scooter and pushed you as hard as you possibly can so you'd go faster. He was older and stronger, so for me, it was at light speed. In reality, it wasn't really that much faster. So there was a slight miscalculation in the process of me getting a boost. He grabbed onto my scooter and I got ready for the push. We started going and I forgot what had happened. Either the bar where you put your hands on broke, I tripped, or I lost my handle. Point is, I lost my balance and I started falling. That shit felt like I was falling in slow motion to be honest. My life flashed before my eyes. My head hit this type of spiky bump. It wasn't too spiky, but it had a spiky design. You know what I'm talking about if you lived in those types of buildings. And as I always do when I get hit in the back of the head, I put my fingers on the back of my head. The thing is, usually nothing bad happens when I put fingers on top of my head after falling. It's just kind of checking, but you kind of know or you pray that nothing bad happened. But this time, oh god, I pulled my fingers back and they were filled with blood on them i started to panic i felt my heart rate start to pick up and i started shaking like hell i got up but i felt wobbled but for some reason it didn't hurt it just felt i just felt lightheaded and i asked hubert what happened he just looked shook and he took me to some other neighbor and like i told you it was active we went into the neighbor's apartment and she grabbed me some napkins to clean the blood people started to surround me to see what happened people were in shock motherfucker how do you think i was feeling a young ass kid with blood coming out on top of his head i'm shaky as hell they took me to a hospital in the van of a family friend she's the go for real the entire drive i was just radio silent and they're just trying to talk to me i was just quiet the entire ride looking into the void flashing through all my memories and all the mistakes i've made up to this point as third grader we finally got to the hospital and went into the emergency room that shit took forever though mind you the entire time blood is coming out the top of my head and it's still pouring out not a lot but still low key the more i think about it thank god that they didn't attend to me quickly because that probably meant i was gonna die the lady that attended me asked me some questions and then they put me under anesthesia and i woke up with staples on the back of my head my brother told me that my mom was just going off on him and my dad for letting me go outside the thing that sucked is that I had to stay indoors in class for like two months straight. I had to have recess and lunch indoors. I had soccer dreams and these fools knocked me off my grind. I couldn't get out because it's possible that I could have gotten severely injured and mess up my head even further than it already was. I did get brain pop premium though, which is goaded as hell. Moral of the story, always wear a helmet and that you should subscribe to the channel. And if you want more of this type of content, check my previous video. Take care.